Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Friday, coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini Hoops Basketball 5-Box Random Team Break number 7 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to everybody right here for getting in on the action. I appreciate it. And uh, no vet common ship. They get, they get donated, money goes to charity, blah, 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 as always. Luca, though, LeBron, Giannis, Zion, John Morantz, they do ship. And obviously all the numbered cards, parallels, rookie cards, inserts, those of course wall ships. So it's just veteran commons. Vet commons, vet base, don't ship. Big thanks to these folks. All 30 teams are in. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a three, five times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. We've got John Deneen down to Serenity. After five. Two and a three, five times for the teams. One, two. And fifth and final time. Good luck. Suns down to the Cavs. Now, just so you know, every single rookie card out of here will eventually be sleeved by our shipping team before they're sorted and shipped out. And during the course of the break, though, I'll, I'll immediately top load some of the top rookies like LaMelo Ball, basically, and James Weissman and whatnot. But there are uh, we do have a list of key rookies that will also be top loaded as well. So all of them are going to be at least sleeved, and then most of them will be top loaded, the key ones, and then they'll be sorted and sent out to you. John with the Suns, William with the Knicks, Matthew with the Wizards, Gabe with the Clippers, Johnny with the Pacers, Austin with the Grizz, Anthony with the Kings, Patrick, you got my Lakers. Miguel with the Bulls, Dave with the Magic, Brian with the Pistons, Jens with the Jazz, Peter with the Spurs, and Brian with the Pelicans, Raptors, and Hornets. LaMelo Balls right here. John with the Hawks, Gabe with the Rockets, Miguel with the Golden State Warriors, Jeff with the Thunder, John with the Nuggets, Matthew with the Nets, John with the Timberwolves, Royce with the Bucks, Jeremy 33 with the Mavs, John with the Sixers, James with the Celtics, Mark with the Heat, Austin with the Trailblazers, and Serenity with Cleveland. Let's sort by column B. And I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There was a, a bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. It's all good. It's no, no big deal. On a Friday, the 5th, thanks for spending a bit of your uh, your uh, the start of your Super Bowl weekend with us. We appreciate that. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. All right, now... Kick back and relax. Get settled in. This is this break does take a minute or two, many minutes or two. So if you got something to do, an errand to run, maybe maybe you gotta maybe want to get some food or and go go get some snacks or something like that. I don't know. This break will be over in about forty-five minutes. Good luck, everybody. So we, we were just off camera. We were discussing how Kevin Durant for the so the Raptors are in Brooklyn tonight. They're down by just a point with four minutes left in the four twenty one left in the fourth. So they had Kevin Durant go into, and I'm not trying to m make this like any sort of political thing at all. But Kevin Durant was was ruled out for the first quarter due to due to COVID contact tracing. Blah blah blah. And then, so they let him play for a quarter. And then in the third quarter, they came back to him, who's sitting on the bench, came back to him and said, no, you're out. So I guess just kind of the baffling thing is just the inconsistency of it, right? Like, if you're already out the first quarter, maybe just out of an abundance of caution, just, uh, just take him out the entire game. Or vice versa, if you want to flip it around. Well, I mean, at this point, why not just let him play the rest of the game? I mean, <laughs> what difference is it going to make? He's he's contacted everybody at this point. So I don't know. Which makes the LeBron James had some pretty strong words. I think uh, someone else, De'Aaron Fox, maybe had some strong words about De'Aaron Fox. Was pretty funny. Had some strong words about the All Star Game kind of being popped on these guys in sort of a weird season. A weird season already. It's like, what's the point? I mean, money is obvious, but what's the point of the All-Star game? You know what I mean? So, 
Although De LeBron James was pretty serious about it. I get it. He's, pretty, he's a serious guy. He's pretty serious about it. De'Aaron Fox was kind of hilarious. <laughs> they're just, he was just like, he pretty was like pretty much like, I think it's stupid. But, you know, whatever. He gets it. It is what it is. If there's TV money involved, there's money involved there. And then he said something that was interesting, which I didn't, I guess, realize, is that if you're selected for the All-Star team and you opt out and you don't play, and it's not like injury related, if you don't play, you get fined by the, I don't remember by who, maybe, maybe by the NBA, but I think you get fined. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that that was a thing, but he was just like, I don't want to get fined. So, if, like, if I'm if I'm on if I'm lucky enough to be elected to the selected to the All Star game, I'm playing. And I was like, huh, I didn't know there was a fine. That was my takeaway. So let's set these rookies aside here for the shipping team. Remember, all the rookies will be sleeved, and most of the rookies will also be top loaded. But everything will be at least sleeve because who knows what, what some of these... I mean, who knows what, what Elijah Hughes could do by the end of the season. But some of the top-tier rookies, like Anthony Edwards and, and whatnot, will be, will be top-loaded right away during the course of this break. And there's our first autograph. It's going to be Hot Signatures Rookies. That's Alexia... Alexia? Pokusevsky, what is this, a hockey break? I'm no good with hockey. Jan, that, that name jams, jams me up there a little bit. But there you go. Rookie auto for Jeff Click and the OKC Thunder. I'll have to, I'll have to work on that in the mirror. Sorry, Oscar Robertson. There's our first Tyrese Halliburton, who's been playing some good hoops. Kelly Aubrey Jr. had a nice game last night, too. And there's a Lamello here as well. Nice. All right, so Tyrese Halliburton going to Anthony and the Kings. And LaMelo Ball playing some good ball. Charlotte Hornets, Brian Croft. We got Oturo, Cassius Winston. That's the 25, the Brook Lopez. Manuel Quickly has certainly has some nice upside as well. William with the Knicks. Mm, Toronto's up 114 to 110 on Brooklyn. A few minutes left. There's Anthony Edwards. Cole Anthony. Obi Toppin. Anthony Edwards, your number one overall pick, going to John Bender and the T-Wolves. Herbert, no, all cards do not ship. As stated in the item description very clearly, it says no vet common ship. Everything else does. on the NBA. Well. Yeah, Igor, you've been having a pretty good night. Congrats. Appreciate you getting in to all of our breaks. Focus 
Well, they're not going to play defense to us. You know that. It's Carmelo Anthony. There's our first James Weissman up there, too. And we've got Larry Nance Jr. Hot signatures for the Cavs. Serenity. Cleveland, this is for you. And the Weissman going to Miguel and the Golden State Warriors. All right, that was uh, box number one of five. Here's box number two. So Raptors are leading 116-110 on the Nets in Brooklyn. Milwaukee Bucks beat the Cavs 123-105. 714 left in Charlotte. Jazz up 115-103. Heat are cruising right now. They got about nine, nine and a half minutes left in that game. Heat up 106-77 on the Wizards in Miami. In Oklahoma City... That's a close game. Three minutes left. Timberwolves up by a point on the Thunder, 99-98. Pistons Suns just uh, in the second quarter. Suns up 53-42 on the Pistons. And the Pelicans on the road beat the Pacers, 114-113. How'd that happen? Wow, they, they outscored the Pacers 30-18 to in the second quarter. That'll do it. And then, I guess, fought off a furious comeback by the Pacers, who scored 38 points in the fourth quarter. The Pelicans, 28. Magic beat the uh, the Bulls, 123 to 119 in Orlando. And I, and uh, Clippers, Celtics at Clippers is the next ESPN game after this one wraps up. Tiptoe, you didn't. Have, next time, put that put that money towards a break. I don't even know where that money goes. The chat money. Doesn't go to me. box. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. All right. Chris Murphy, what's going on? Happy Friday to you, too. Happy weekend. Couple rookies here. Sub Spencer. Uh, I have no idea what the Cardinals went for in Series One. I didn't do the pricing on that. I have no idea. There's Devin Vassell, rookie ink autograph for San Antonio. Going to Peter. He's got some upside. I wouldn't be in too much of a rush on that, Jessica. We still have like still have like forty minutes left in this break. There's Lamello. Another Lamello for Brian Croft, last spot mojo. And a Tyrese Halliburton for the Kings, Anthony. 
We got Nick Richards, 12 out of 99, rookie green for Charlotte. And the Emmanuel quickly for William and the Knicks. John Bender with the Timberwolves. Yeah, I think Obi Toppin's getting some minutes, Vanilla, from what I've been hearing. There he is again. He was pretty highly touted. I think he's getting minutes. And uh, someone was saying last night that he that he's an, an excellent passer of the basketball. He's on the Knicks, so he's going to get some time to to develop, evolve, and grow. Yeah, quickly seems like it's like he's he's a he's a great pick too. John Morant looks really cool. I thought thought that might have been like a low number parallel for a second. You know, the Knicks are interesting. If if they they they've been stockpiling so much talent over the years with their draft picks that at some point they've got to just luck into getting a pick right and you know and and then it all clicking you know RJ Barrett's playing much better basketball this year too consequently his his rookie stuff has been doing pretty well Well, it's got to click at some point for the Knicks. And if they can do that, I mean, that's going to be huge. Nice Zion right here. Right. And, yeah, Randall has been stepping up, too. Randall's Julius Randall's been playing with good basketball. There's Zion Williamson. Second year Zion for Brian and the Pelicans. That's to 199. And we've got Dale Ellis, old Supersonic, Hoops, Inc., going to the Thunder. Jeff, Supersonic stuff goes to the Thunder for now. I almost think, what if the, someone, I think someone else mentioned this yesterday. This might be a topic of conversation maybe in New York, but at, at this point, I mean, are we, are we, are the Knicks a playoff team? I don't know. I think they're still a ways away. And even if they did, I think, you know, they're not going to get too far in there. And I don't know what Julius Randle's contract situation is like, but do you trade Julius Randle at this point? He's a little bit older than these uh, these other young guys, you know what I mean? So maybe you trade Julius Randle to, to somebody, accumulate some more picks, and some bring back some more talent. All right, so even if you think if Herbert thinks they're only going to be a ninth or tenth seed, I'd maybe move Julius Randle while he's having a great season. Get 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 some stuff back and keep uh, two years left. Great value there for a team trading for him with two years left. You can get a lot back. You know, add, add some more draft picks. Keep building some depth. That's what I would do.
in this break, Ray, hoops number seven. What about a, did you see a receipt from us? No, you were in hoop six, Ray. That was yesterday. This is hoop seven. So check our video list for hoop six. Yeah, and um, the, those PayPal transaction IDs don't help us. Um, the order numbers uh, definitely help. And in the, in the order, you'll see uh, it's 134395. You'll see the break number right there. So you'll always know what break you're in. This is break seven, which is on the schedule. All right. Fox, Nico Mannion, and Grant. Got some more Tyrese Halliburton. And LaMelo Ball. Brian with Charlotte. All of those add up. Same with the Tyrese. Same with, the, same with a lot of these rookies. Tyrese Halliburton for Anthony and the Nick, uh, Kings, that is. Different K team. Trey, Trey Jones in the rookie pile. All right, Anthony Edwards for John and the T Wolves. And some more Emmanuel quickly. I was half watching a, a Knicks game the other night, like early, earlier Sunday or Monday, and I saw this guy flying around the court, but I was just kind of half watching it from afar on my TV, and I thought actually this was R.J. Barrett running around, like I said, I knew R.J. Barrett was playing well. And I was like, oh yeah, there's R.J. Barrett, you know, going off, hitting some shots, looks great. And then I kind of was just like, it's a little, kind of skinny R.J. Barrett. And then I look closely. It's like, oh, that's number five. I think, what, RJ Bear's number nine or something like that? So I was like, wait a second. Who's this kid? Emmanuel Quickly, huh? There's Obi Toppin right here. And I was like, huh. So at least for that game, that's pretty good. Ah, nice. A couple Denny Avijas. Here's a purple parallel, Denny Avija, the Israeli, going to Matthew Shira. And I think he's got some upside, too. 
think he's how old is he? I don't think he's very old, but Yeah, he was born in 01. So I think uh I think he kind of got that I don't know if he's going to be Luka Doncic, but I think he's kind of got that Luka Doncic thing where where at a young age he's already playing like professional basketball with like you know, grown men. You know what I mean? So I think he's got a little experience there that that helps him out. I think someone no one's really pointed this out when I've mentioned this, but he was either injured recently or had was getting in and out of COVID protocol. Does anyone remember what it was? But I think he's just kind of got got back into the action re somewhat recently. So hopefully we'll be seeing more of him. No, no, no. Yeah, he's here. What's up, Darren? Porterhouse taking the house. Yeah, yeah. He he was he was drafted by the Wizards and he's playing. It was oh, passing his protocol. Okay, so that's what it was. So it was some COVID protocol stuff. He was in and out of that, but I think he should be back in action and ready to roll. There's Ernan Gomez, and I, th I think this is why, I think this is why Lamelo Ball's been playing well too. There's Ben McLemore. Hot signatures for the Rockets. That'll be for Gabe. I think this is why Lamelo's been playing well because he went and played in Australia for, uh, uh, for a, for a season. You know, so he's he's matching up against you know whatever you think about the Australian league, but he's, he's still matching up with professionals, grown men. You know, so I think that helps him a lot. You know, in his evolution here. There's Weissman for Golden State. And there is Hernan Gomez to 99. Juancho Hernan Gomez. Okongu. Yeah, I think we, we've stacked up all the rookies here. I'm sure I've. There's been some Okongus in here. Herbert thinks Atlanta needs to trade Capella and play Okongu. The town cards agrees. Yeah, why not? Especially if you're, I mean, I don't know, I don't know what the, the Hawks, you know, playoff aspirations are. Right, I mean they're they're a seven they're a seven seed. You know, play the young guys. Luke Kennard, by the way, on the Pistons, or Pistons, was on the Pistons, on the Clippers now. Just saw a stat shooting 45% from three. He's been shooting the ball pretty well. Now that I think Kennard's been maybe a change of scenery has helped him out. Maybe being on a better team has helped him out. But he's been, he's been looking pretty good with the Clippers. I think Lakers' Alex Caruso, I think, is sporting a pretty pretty healthy uh, three-point percentage as well. LeBron has surprisingly been shooting the three-ball pretty well this season, which is kind of terrifying if you think about it. Imagine if uh, if Giannis Antetokounmpo could hit forty at forty percent from three, would he be stoppable? Would he just rattle off eight MVPs in a row if he developed a credible three point shot? Like he could shoot like he could attempt six or seven threes a game, you know, and hit forty percent of them. <laughs> 
Would that just be game over for the NBA? I mean, how are you going to stop that in a, in a, in a, in a, even in a seven-game series? Tyrese, Kings, Anthony. And we got Josh Green. Oh, with Kyrie back here. Josh Green, hot signatures rookies for Dallas. That's going to be for Jeremy, 33. Another Lamello. Luke Nard speaking of more quickly William Frazier with the Knicks getting all those Obi Toppins and Emmanuel Quickly's all those certainly will add up maybe worth grading some of them as well there's Anthony same with Anthony Edwards number one overall pick Timberwolves, John Bender. Della Vadova, I hearing um, he's considering retirement due to some concussion issue. I think it's Della Vadova. Which is crazy. I think he got a concussion early December and I think has been struggling to to, to to battle back from that. It's kind of scary. Con concussions in basketball don't normally happen too often, I would think, but Denny Vigia, another one for Matthew Shearer and Washington. Julius Randle playing some good ball. More James Weissman, Kier Lewis Jr. All right, there's uh, there's Okongu for Atlanta. John Bender, Hawks. There he is. Weissman again, Miguel, Golden State Warriors. And there's Clint Capella. So some of the guys in the chat were saying, trade this guy, you know, and uh, trade that guy, play the other guy. And Kayvon Looney. What is? Which one? Oh, yeah, actually, that's pretty cool. So usually the rookie cards, blackbacks, but the redbacks, right there, short print. Even better, John. And for Miguel and the Warriors, you got Kayvon Looney. Nice, good eye, Pat. 
Mr. Capella as if Panini knew that we were going to talk about him. So get rid of that guy and play the other guy with the red back. This guy, get some draft capital, get some assets out of him. You know? And then profit. <laughs> All right, last box. We're almost there, folks. Got another 10 or so minutes to go. And then what am I doing after this? I have no idea. Oh, Prison Blaster is going to come up after this. Then we'll go through some more orders. I see about a dozen orders right now. And then, uh, oh, almost 20 orders now. So let's see. we'll see what else sold out, and we'll go from there. Tatum, that guy's pretty good. You think uh, you think NBA goes uh, goes thirty two teams? What's up, Drift? What's going on? Welcome back. You think NBA goes thirty two teams? If so, I mean hockey, football's at thirty two. Easy with the caps, Drift. Relax. Hockey has thirty two. NFL has 32, and now I think baseball, baseball and maybe basketball should maybe consider 30. That's a nice number, isn't it? 32 for, I think that's a nice sweet spot for, uh, for teams. Obviously, I would love to see Seattle get a team, get, bring, bring the Supersonics back, right? Anthony with the Kings. Well, Seattle for sure, Nick, right? Nick Stover. I would love to see them get a team again, but where... I don't know where else. Where else would you put a team? I need like a map of the United States. I don't even... I, has Adam Silver even discussed this? I don't know if he has. I know, I know Manfred kind of started talking about about baseball getting a getting a couple more teams to get it to that nice round nice even number of 32 there's lamello i'm sure that would create a lot of uh what call it create a lot of redistricting of divisions josh says flint michigan i don't know i think i think detroit has that market there's a uh, Leandro Bolmaro for the Timberwolves, rookie ink for John Bender. Pittsburgh. I don't see if they put a team in Seattle, I don't know if they're going to they're going to give one to Vancouver. Right? Pittsburgh I think could be. Why doesn't Pittsburgh have a basketball team? I think they're close enough to like Cleveland for maybe a little rivalry action there. They've already got they can sustain a major football team, a major hockey team, a major baseball team.
Oh, it's going to be Ve Vegas. That's what it would be. They would, they'll, they'll put a team in Vegas. But that's like two West Coasty kind of teams, isn't it? Vegas is kind of West Coast. Seattle, Las Vegas. Did Pittsburgh have a basketball team? Was it, did they maybe have an old ABA team? There's Danny Vigia again for Matthew Shearer and the Wizards. Here's a rookie orange. I feel like Zeke Naji. Oh, I feel like I'm hearing good things about Zeke Naji. Let's see, let's just pop one of these right away. Nuggets, John Deneen. The Lakers played the Nuggets last night. I think he, he got a couple minutes and some garbage time at the end. Does I remember that movie, The Fish That Saved Pittsburgh? Is that a basketball movie? I don't know. You would think. Bass, I mean, Pittsburgh's a major major city, major market. Sustains multiple professional franchises. I suppose the easiest answer would be to kind of look towards what team, what cities used to have basketball, like an ABA team. I guess you would kind of go through that list first and see if you know anybody kind of makes sense there. Playing some good basketball too. Baltimore could be interesting. Baltimore, maybe eat into some of that, some of that Wizards market share. There's Duhunta Murray to ninety nine. Kansas City. There's Jack Sigma. Milwaukee Bucks autograph. Old Buck going to going to Royce. All right, looks like that, my friends, is that. So that was five box random team number seven. And there's Tyrell Terry, rookie to 199. So there you go. More OB Toppin, and here is... The quick recap. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for conversing and hanging out with me. We didn't see any like we didn't see like a Lomelo autograph or anything like that. Maybe in the in the final five boxes of the of this case, the final five boxes are, are up on the website right now, jazpiecasebreaks.com. Maybe we can find some Ob Toppin autographs, Anthony Edwards autos, maybe. Lamellos, Quickly's, Tyrese, Halloran. We'll try to find some more. There you go. Thanks for getting into this one, folks. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.